about to meet one of the all-time great actors, a man who hails from the golden age of theatre and who trod the boards with the likes of Gielgud, Richardson and Olivier. After a glittering career in the theatre, he moved to Hollywood, where he appeared in all the 75 motion pictures spanning 30 years. His name is Sir Gideon Vane. I told you not to steal from me, didn't I? But you wouldn't listen. I? Yeah, you wouldn't listen. I think he was destined to be an actor, to act out other people's lives in a fantasy world. I think he enjoyed playing other people, considering what a tedious bastard he is in real life. There are so many things I could tell you about myself, Maddie. What exactly is it you want to know? When you see Jesus, say hello to him for me. Fantastic actor. He could give you the whole range of emotions from A to B. You can be negative about Gideon, and well, people often are, but you have to remember that he's an actor first and foremost. Actors can be complex individuals. The word genius is bandied around a lot in our business, but I think Gideon was a bona fide genius if ever there was one. He, he was a brilliant. Brilliant actor. Always immersed himself totally in all his parts. I'll never forget his Coriolanus. When he was on screen in one of his many film roles, he was the embodiment of the dark side of human nature. He liked to play villains and was always a rebel, both on screen and off. For some, he was an inspiration. For others, he was merely a ham actor who appeared in films that were unsuitable for children. Many of those films were also unsuitable for adults. Sir Gideon Vane. Oh, don't worry. I won't hurt you. <laughs> How do you do? I'm uh, Andrew Madison. Drink? Uh, no, thanks. Been early in the morning for me. Bullshit. I'm a great admirer of yours. You really? Unfortunately, you happen to write for The Guardian. Excuse me? You heard what I said. You know why you're here, don't you? Over the years, lie after filthy lie has been written about me. Fabrications you would not believe. A multitude of misquotations. That stops right now. You know how it works, don't you, Maddie? How what works? How the press works. They slag you off your entire life. Then, when you're about to croak, they put you up on a pedestal. I have scores to settle, my man. And I intend to tell you, and you alone, Andrew, the real story of Sir Gideon Bain. Uh, tough times when I was a kid. You had to thieve to survive. You had to thieve even a week. One day when I was coming up and work, I even had to nick a pair of pyjamas to go to sleep in. And when it was really hot, I had to nick a pair of pants. You write uh, for The Guardian, don't you? Yes, I do, yes. Well, let me tell you, Andrew. There are two sorts of writer in this world. There are them that write about meaningless, superficial subjects that achieve nothing whatsoever. 
endless drivel. That, at the moment, unfortunately, Andrew, happens to be you. And then there's the other sort, the sort of writer that writes about great subjects. Subjects with, with universal appeal. These subjects consume them their whole lives. That, my dear Andrew, is the sort of writer you could become. Now, Andrew, I want to have a little word with you about the writing of my autobiography. Uh, no, in fact, I'm here to make a television documentary, Sir Gideon. Well, I thought you were here to write my autobiography. No. See? Oh, that explains the cameraman. 